Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important questions that are asked from the CNS topic of physiology during the examinations of the first year MBBS. So moving on with the first chapter that is the synapse. The important questions framed from this chapter are short note on Renz Hoss cell inhibition, short note on presynaptic and postsynaptic inhibition, synapse, neurotransmitters and synaptic plasticity. Out of these questions, the first three questions are very important and the last two questions are not generally asked. Now, sensory receptor chapter the various questions framed from this chapter are short note on properties of receptors is very important short note on generator potential is not that important short note on phantom limb phenomenon is very important question definitions of subliminal fringe weber fessner law adequate stimulus tonic receptors denervation hypersensitivity and bell mazzini law is generally asked now moving on to the chapter reflexes the various questions asked are short note on muscle spindle, stretch reflex, these two questions are important. Clonus is not that important. Inverse stretch reflex is again very important. Supra segmental centers affecting gamma efferent discharge is again very important. Flow chart on muscle spindle and activity of muscle spindle during the stretch. Muscle contraction and stimulation on a fiber can be asked. Moving on to the sensory system. Enumerate various tracts and sensations carried by them. Hemisection of spinal cord, referred pain and theories explaining it along with examples. Short note on central inhibition of pain and uh, short note on sensory motor cortex. All these questions are very important. Short note on stress analgesia is not that important. Significance of gait control theory of pain is important. Difference between slow and fast pain is not important. However, difference between implicit and explicit memory is very important. Flow chart on pathway of proprioception, pain and temperature, crude touch, these are very important. Questions like why counter irritants cause local pain relief can be asked. Moving on to the chapter motor areas and descending tracts. The questions framed from this chapter are flow chart on arrangement of pyramidal tract in internal capsule is important. Short note on corticospinal tract is also important. Difference between upper motor and no lower motor neuron lesion is again very important. Upper motor neuron lesion results in a spasticity. Why? Is important. What happens and why to plantar reflection in upper motor neuron lesion is also important. And Babinski sign is again very important. Moving on to the autonomic nervous system and spinal cord lesion. Short note on muscarinic receptor is not that important. Short note on spinal sock is important. Short note on brown C word syndrome is also important. Short note on paraplegia is not that important. Short note on lumbar puncture is again not important. Normal values and clinical significance of duration of spinal sock in humans is also not important. What happens and why to sensation in TB is dorsalis is very important. Moving on to the chapter body movement and posture and reticular formation. This chapter is not important from CNS however questions one or two can be asked short note on control of posture is also not important short note on decelebrate rigidity writing reflexes are not generally asked differences between decorticate and decelebrate rigidity is also not important short note on ascending reticular system is important short note on functions of the reticular formation is also important moving on to the chapter cerebellum and the thalamus the various questions asked from this chapter are short note on functions of the cerebellum, features of cerebellar lesion, functions of thalamus. These three questions are very important. Short note on spinocerebellum and neocerebellum is not that important. Difference between cerebellar and Parkinson tremor is very important. Diagram of circuit of cerebellum is also important. What happens and why if thalamogeniculate artery is blocked can be asked. Moving on to the chapter EEG and uh, sleep. Generally questions are not asked from EEG, however, most of the questions framed from this chapter come on sleep. Short note on EEG and its physiological basis, evoked cortical potential, uses of EEG. These three are not important. Short note on REM sleep, sleep spindles, NREM sleep, genesis of REM sleep, control of sleep wake cycle, sleep cycle in adults. All these questions on sleep are generally asked. Moving on to the chapter basal ganglia. 
Short note on functions of basal ganglia is important. Parkinson's disease is again very important. Basis of bradykinesia in Parkinson's is also important. Putaman circuit is also important. Circuit of basal ganglia can be asked. Use of L-dopa in Parkinson's is also important. Difference between spasticity and rigidity can be asked. Moving on to the chapter hypothalamus and cerebrum. This is not that important chapter. However, questions can be framed on the hypothalamus. Short note on papist circuit is important. Short note on functions of hypothalamus is very very important. Short note on leptins, lipostatic and glycostatic theory of food intake is not important. Short note on hypothalamic temperature regulation is very important. What happens and why if lesion of ventromedial nucleus of hypothalamus occurs, if satiety center is destroyed can be asked. Hypothalamus is a head ganglion, why? You have to explain it. Now moving on to the chapter limbic system and higher functions of the CNS. This is very important chapter and most of the questions that I have mentioned here are generally asked. Short note on component of limbic system, neural mechanism of reward and punishment, samurage, aphasia, memory, learning, conditional reflex, and Alzheimer's disease. Difference between implicit and explicit memory is also important. Moving on to the chapter regulation of temperature, the questions framed are Short note on temperature regulatory mechanisms is important. Pathogenesis of fever is not that important. Thermoregulation in neonates is important. Why goose pimples occur in cold can be asked. Short note on acetylcholine and its receptor is not important. Short note on clovey, boosie and is also not important. Thank you.